So I have this cornucopia. Let me just add to the comments here my Etsy shop if anybody is looking for anything. And because it's kind of see-through, I don't want the styrofoam to show. So I added a piece of mesh to the inside of it. So it kind of disguise the white styrofoam. And I'm gonna glue the half of the styrofoam ball in there. I had this all rolled up nice and I decided to cut the styrofoam. How's everybody doing tonight? If you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd appreciate it. You can only share so much now, so I can't even share it with any of my groups. So I'm asking everybody to do that. And we're getting pretty close on my YouTube followers and once we get to a thousand we are going to have a big sign giveaway all right hi Peggy how are you feeling I hope doing better we're working with the cornucopia tonight I've added this mesh on the inside so you can't really see the white um, styrofoam I cut a big styrofoam ball in half and I've put half of it in there. So now I'm just going to glue around the sides to lodge it in there. Except there. Now we can get in there. I hope everybody had a great day today and a great weekend. I got to see my grandson who I haven't seen in a while so that was pretty special <clears throat> thank you Peggy appreciate it all right there was a piece of the basket weave sticking out so I want to tack that down and on the other side got smashed We got to make sure we fix it. I'm going to use a bunch of different florals with this. We're going to start by working on the bottom. We're going to make a bed out of the, um, the leaves first. And because a cornucopia sometimes is a centerpiece on a table, I kind of want to Make sure that it's visible from both sides. So we're going to work on that. Everybody have a good weekend? Yes? No? Okay, we got that tacked down. Now this is going to go back and forth. I tried putting a little bag of rocks in there. It's still going to go back and forth. So, until I get it all finished, there's this hanger here, which is kind of strange, but I guess you could go hanging it up if you wanted to, but I don't want to do that. I want it laying down. So first we're going to work with the leaves, and I'm going to be putting them in down here, so there's like a whole bed of them right here, okay? So I'm going to glue as we go along here. Don't they look pretty? This is definitely my favorite time of year, fall. And I've got a lot of stuff we're going to add to this. So, I'm going to have to use this to poke a hole first. And then push it in the hole. If I can find the hole, there it is. Because I cut these leaves up and in doing so, this is real flimsy. Just 
curled up and such. So I'll make my hole first and then I'll stick some glue in the hole and then I will stick the leaves in the hole. Isn't that looking pretty so far? I love fall. Do you love fall? Thank you, Brenda. I'm glad you're having good weather and enjoying the family. I gave my one grandson his first pumpkin yesterday. So it's going to sit like that. I think I'm going to put one more over here. Bring it up a little. Do I need to move the camera in so you can see better? Why don't I do that? Oop. How's that? Oops. Sorry. I'm looking on the monitor to see if you can see. Okay then, because it's a delay. Like I said, I got all kinds of stuff we can stick in here. Okay, good. Looks like that's a good... I think I'm going to put one more under here to bring it out further. Like right under here but have it like out here on the table. I like that. but I think because I don't want a whole lot of that branch showing I'm going to glue this right on top over that kind of really have it nice and full I did it I did um, upload a short video to YouTube. Um, probably on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a teardrop swag with some poinsettias. And the poinsettias didn't have enough gold in it for me. So I improvised. Yes, right? Hi, Nanny Dot. Oh, good. All right. So I'm going to be putting a nice big old sunflower right in the middle here. And because I want this kind of scene from both sides, I'm actually going to put a pumpkin on this side and a pumpkin over here. Now, this being the smallest one, I think I'm going to have that more on the top. Air. that way it's visible from both sides because this is something that you're going to see all around nanny dot how was it this weekend so i think that guy is going to go right there okay and then this guy is going to go more down. I'm not sure now if I want to use the orange pumpkin. What do you think? The orange pumpkin or the brown pumpkin? Which do you think would look better? Here's the 
sunflower. Good. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. But you were thought of. I really wanted to meet the children. But it wasn't in the cards this weekend. Alright, so what I do is I just poke a hole in here. And then I put a, a one of the picks that I've pulled off of one of the other, um, you know, off the leaves, whatever. I always save the sticks. Yes, I'm sure they did. We're kind of in a drought up here. We had some some rain, but it wasn't, I don't think it was enough. Did I glue this? No. We need to glue. And I kind of want to bend that up. There we go. So what, what are your thoughts? The orange pumpkin or the brown pumpkin? Which do you think? Maybe we should stick with the brown. We can always put it in and take it out. Let's... Now I used my stick. more down in here so let's make a hole now see I'm putting the bigger stuff in right now because I'm going to put filler around so I'm kind of getting my focal points set in there going to go right here in the middle. See, like that. How's that look so far? Yeah, I think because I have so much of the orange and the yellow and different colors in here. I have some corn I could even put in here too if I wanted, but I'm not sure. This just doesn't look very, very nice. I have some Chinese lanterns. So yeah, I think we made the right choice of going with the brown pumpkin. We have all kinds of filler. This is that fern bush that I've used before. I love the, uh, the, the fall colors of this. Then we have some picks here that have some acorns and little pip berries and little berries on it. Um, I did put some of these in my shop because we used them last week. That and those um, velvet-like um, acorns. I put some of those in my shop too. Now this is probably from AC Moore, so. And the news is we are getting a Hobby Lobby. Should be finished by next year. I won't know how to act. I went in Michael's this weekend and couldn't find half of what I went in there for. So. So I think I'm going to scatter these throughout to give it a little pop of color. So I'm going to cut off about three of those. And I may need a long stem here. I know. They are so pretty, aren't they? It's a good filler, too. 
So I think we'll go down here with one. What's wrong with that one? We're just going to cut that one off. There we go. And then maybe put one over in here and then we'll put the big one up top here. And I got more filler to put in here, but we're just starting with some of the other little stuff first and fill in where we need to. I had a bigger one, but that one's really wide at the bottom, and I thought I, I would feel better with this one. So I think we're going to go over there with that one. So see, we've got a little bit over here and a little bit over here to fill in. And then we've got some up here. And like I said, we've got filler here. We've got filler here. I'm kind of liking these brown egg corns. So see, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to split it into three. So I'm going to get three picks out of it instead of one pick. Just gonna kind of the best thing to do with your florals wake them up move them around they're meant to be moved around you don't want to leave them like you got you got them you want to spread them out that poor egg corn was losing its body so we're just gonna give these some life okay let me just do some dry fitting in here and see if this is where I want it. Ah, this one's going to be a stinker. So we're going to use this to poke our hole. And see this, I can bend backwards here. So again, it's visible from over here. This one, let's do like down here. And wake it up. And this one, I think I'm gonna go down in here with it. So that'll put some texture over top of the bed of leaves. And this one, I think I'm going to move a little bit higher back, like right up here in back of this white pumpkin. Okay, let's put that up there. And then I can bend it back. And this one, we'll add some glue. Because I kind of like where that's at. And then this one, I think we have to make a hole. Can we? Yep. We got that styrofoam ball back in there so far. But what's nice about it is it's back in there and it's not at all visible from the front. so far all right now I think I'm gonna really rip this apart and start putting that in there but I think I might need some I have some long wispy stuff it's just called willow could bring that color in and pull some of the color out of the little berries. 
I have these, but I'm not liking those too much. I think we could pull in some of this color too. We used that the other day and that really turns out nice. And then I have this whole thing. I think I won this at conference last year and it's a lot of different filler. So I can work with that too. All right, let's start by ripping this apart. Let's see what we got here. And remember to take off your tags. See, I like these because these have several colors to them. Where am I at? Over here? <laughs> I'm looking at it backwards. There, we've got that one. I've got another one. So out of that one, we've got about four good picks, filler picks. Okay. So I don't want to put it all up here. I do want to have some of it coming out here. So... Do some dry arranging here. This is a little too long. I don't know, I kind of like that there. Let's just leave it there for a minute and see. I think we'll bring some of it out over here too, underneath this pick that has the um, berries in it. I think right in through here. I need a stick. Here's a poker. kind of over top of it. And that beautiful. Oh, the colors. Man, I love it. All right, let me do another dry fit over here. See, then you're visually getting it from both sides if it's a centerpiece. And this does bend, but I think I need to drive it in further. That's where I think I need it to go. And that pumpkin popped out. I don't want that. <clears throat> this one is being stubborn. There we go. <clears throat> down. There we go. And this one I'm thinking really needs to go at the top here, but I want to layer it upward. So 
I'm going to put some shorter stuff in front of it. And I could even pull in some of these flowers, too, that were with this. Kind of like this one. Let's bring that one in. <clears throat> right about in here, maybe. Nah, not liking it next to the Chinese lanterns. So, let's go back to pulling some of these. We'll go with a little smaller flower. And then I think we'll put these like right in here. Just a grouping of three. Need a hole. We need some glue. How's that look? <clears throat> now I think I'm going to use some of this to give it a little more dimension, a different texture, too. <clears throat> Let me see. I want to break this up. I do. That broke up real nice and easy, too. All right. <clears throat> Maybe one right in here. down a little bit. <clears throat> All right. I am going to use some of this because I think I need it. some green in there. Okay. Now, we got this yet to go in here. <clears throat> no, needs to go down like this. There. But I still need something back in here. So, I think we're going to put a couple flowers right there. And I can stick some more of these up in there because we can bend it back. So we've created like a bed here, but then we've followed it up here. Like 
right in here. And then pull it back. I think that'll do it. Pull this out, it's kind of disappearing. one place. There we go. I still think it needs a little bit up in here yet. So you can pop a couple of these on the sides or we can stick two more right in there. some of this greenery going in right about here. Okay. Not liking this here. I think this needs to go more up in here. This is too long. It needs to go back in there a little bit. These are not the easiest ones to do. There. I need to tilt my sunflower up a little bit. There. It's just a matter of fitting these down where they need to go and twisting them around. <coughs> and that needs to go in there a little further. Actually, I'm going to use that up here. Okay. What you think? No problem, Sue. Doesn't that look beautiful? I know what it is. My ball has come un unhinged there. I might need one of these right in there. Add some berries right there. And we need our poker. come to life. Little cap on the egg corn was coming off.
I'm probably going to have to play with it a little bit. I'm definitely going to have to glue that ball some more because it's coming out. So what do you think? Have you ever worked with one? I may stick these in there too, because that's just a nice array of leaves, different leaves. Let me see. I'll use it right in here. Cover up a spot. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Jean, your order went out this morning. I don't know. Do you think I need more of these in? Bring it to life. Because we got what? Four? So we may need a five. Got one down here, two, three. Let's put it right in here. Because again, if you're looking at it from the side, boy, these are not real strong, are they? Yeah. So we kind of want to have it visible from all sides. I think we is done. Yeah, I think, I think it really, just all, like the one we did the other day, just all the different textures how it just all blends. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this because of all the fall colors. Are, it's all in the same color family. I just have to work on this a little bit. But see, it's visible from this side. So if it's on the center, at in the center of the table... You have all this visible, and then you have it visible from that side, too. Just a lot of, a lot going on in there. And I don't know. I'm going to try our orange pumpkin and see if we need to go back to the orange or leave that. I don't know. Maybe we need another white one. I have a green one, I know, but I don't think I have another white one. And another brown one. I don't know. What do you think about the green one? I think we should have went with a green instead of the brown. What's your thoughts? Brown, orange, or green? What is your opinion? Any thoughts?
What do you think? Nobody has an opinion? No. We're just going to pull out the brown one. And we're going to try and decide right here, right now. Except, boy, that's really in there. <laughs> there. All right. We're going to put the orange pumpkin in there. And then we'll take the orange pumpkin out and we'll stick the green one in there. It needs a stem. That's why it's not sticking. Sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. Which do you think? Come on, everybody. Interact with me. Green, orange, or brown pumpkin? Hello, am I still alive? <laughs> I know, I kind of like the green one. Thank you, Sue. But which one? Which pumpkin? Green, orange, or the brown pumpkin? Brown kind of disappears. I'm leaning more towards the green one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Or we could put a third pumpkin in it. <laughs> I could put the orange one at the top nobody has any answers thank you nanny dot i like the green one too but i think the orange one looks kind of good up here too it kind of gives me my visual triangle because you got one two three and then i can push some of this filler back and really concentrate on covering that up I think we're going to go with the green there. I think the brown was just blending in too much. It wasn't giving it enough pop. And we want it to pop. So let's go with the green in place of the brown pumpkin. Let's put a little glue here. Get it in the hole. And over it went. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the green. And then I think we go ahead and bend this back up top here. I agree, Jean. And then I think we put the orange one up here. Because that will allow us to pull all this and bend it back and really cover up that one spot there that was annoying me. So let's do that. Let's go with three pumpkins. Now that I glue that. Yeah. 
Yep. That's what we needed. A cornucopia of pumpkins. I think that's just what it needed. That third pumpkin. And the brown was blended in too much, so I think this works. And like I said, look, you can see it from that side, and you can see it from this side. So if it's a centerpiece, you're not going to see any of the styrofoam. I just need to actually... This needs to come up a little right in here. Yeah, I'll pull that over for my height there. So then see, I've got my triangle there. I've got my triangle there. I've got my triangle there. So visually, I think we're good. And I like that pumpkin at the top. And we've got some flowers in here, berries, a bed of leaves. 